Hi, we're going to look at some of the hardest words to pronounce in British English. These words are so hard that even native English speakers find them difficult. And today, I'll show you how to overcome these problems. So come on, let's get really good at saying these English words together. Being able to pronounce English words correctly really does increase your confidence in speaking. However, get words wrong and it can often lead to misunderstandings or confusion. So let's look at the most difficult words in English and I'll show you how native speakers overcome the problems in fast speech. Number one, rural. Places that are far away from large towns or cities. The pronunciation of rural in British English can be a bit tricky for most of us because of the consecutive R sounds. It's pronounced as rural. In modern RP, that's received pronunciation, because in RP the letter R is pronounced when the next sound in a word is a vowel. Here's the word broken down simply. The first syllable, ruhr, is stressed and sounds like ruhr, as in ru in kangaroo, but due to the presence of the schwa sound, it has a very short neutral sound, uh, at the end. Say ruhr. Ruhr. The second syllable here sounds like this. Rul. Rul. With the schwa sound a uh, replacing the a and the r and l being very lightly pronounced. The r sound is voiced but frictionless. The tip of your tongue should be close to the rear part of the alveolar ridge but not touching. This allows the air to escape freely over the middle of your tongue. Now say the sound r, r. Now say rul, rul. The L is a dark L sound, as in the word full. Now say it back to front like this. Rul. Ruhr, rural, ruhr. Now say the word rural, rural. Got it? Good. Make sure you practice it out loud until you're confident saying it. Now try this tongue twister. Rural riders raced roughly on the ragged rural road. Again. Rural riders raced roughly on the ragged rural road. If you can say that, your pronunciation is pretty amazing. Number two, sixth. Sixth. The word sixth can indeed be very hard to pronounce particularly in British English. It should be pronounced as sixth. This word involves transitioning from a s sound to a th sound quickly, which is difficult for most of us. You will hear some native English speakers say sixth, which is normally what I say myself, especially in fast speech. So let's get it right first and break the word down simply. The first part, six, sounds like the number six. Say six, six. Saying the two consonant sounds together, x, is difficult. Say x, a bit like the word kiss, but without the I or the I sound in the middle. Give us a kiss. <laughs> now say six. 
The last part, th, can be challenging. Th sounds like th in think. It's unvoiced and your tongue should be between your teeth. Say it like this. Did you notice the airflow is not completely blocked? The air is leaking out. Now longer, say Now make it shorter. Notice at the end, my tongue disappears back into my mouth. Not But now let's put them all together and say sixth. But remember, a lot of people just say sixth, especially in rapid speech. I say it like this, sixth place, sixth place. You might even hear it spoken when it's completely dropped like this. Sixth place. It's up to you. Penguin. This word has two syllables and the first of these is stressed. One of the main difficulties with this word is the second syllable, Gwyn. The GU combination is not very common in English, but the GU sounds like the GU spelling of the word language. So let's break the word down into its individual sounds. The first syllable, pen, sounds like peng, similar to the pen in pencil but with a G sound at the end. Say peng, peng. The second syllable, guin, sounds similar to guin. The GU is pronounced the same as the GU in language, followed by the IN as in the word BIN. Say GWIN. GWIN. If you're comfortable with those, put them together like this. Penguin. 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 Number four. Thorough. This word has only two syllables with the stress on the first syllable. And put very simply, it's like this. Th -r. So place your tongue between your teeth and blow air out. No voice, just blow. It's the same sound as the start of think. Now the first O in thorough is pronounced as A, uh, which is a short sound, like the A uh in but. Put these two sounds together and say th, th, good. Now the R. The R sound is very light, it's like this, R, R. Now you say it. R, R. Now add the schwa sound like this. R, R. Put it all together and say thorough, thorough. Easy. It's just the spelling that's hard. Try this tongue twister. Get ready. It's quite hard. Think it through thoroughly. Think it through thoroughly. That's English. Number five, Colonel. Colonel. This word spelling doesn't align with its pronunciation at all, making it quite challenging. So the primary challenge with Colonel is the difference between the spelling and pronunciation which is not uncommon in English. 
One way to overcome this difficulty is to practice the sounds in the word disregarding the way it's spelt. Break it down into two syllables. Col is pronounced as cur and nel pronounced as null. Practice each one and then combine them like this. Cur, cur, null, null. Now put them together. Kernel, kernel. Did you notice that L-O in the spelling is not pronounced at all? That's why there are only two syllables which is so confusing. As with all pronunciation practice, repetition is key. If you're still having trouble with the th sound, go to my special video to practice the sound here. And I also have a video on consonant clusters here. Remember, pronunciation can vary between different regional accents within the UK. Practice makes perfect, so keep practicing those challenging words to improve your British English pronunciation. Until next time, love and peace.